What's going on guys, Orza here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got the new Moment Z itch to review. It's a card that literally just came out as a player SBC and it's a card that's got a very nice upgrade if we are comparing him to his original gold card. We are talking about a plus 12 to his pace, a plus 7 to his dribbling, a plus 9 to his shooting, a plus 6 to the passing, a plus 6 to the physicals and a plus 2 to the defending as well. Now we all know ZH right, he's got a 5 star skill and we his game he's got that unique body type as well so in game i am expecting this card to feel simply amazing now the thing that i don't really like the looks of is that two star weak foot that two star weak foot is always always gonna be annoying i wish they gave him like a three star weak foot upgrade but obviously they didn't he's got high high work rates and he is a five foot eleven player as well now the chem style hunter I feel like the Hunter Kemsa is 100% the way to go. With him having his unique body type with the 5-star skill moves, with those kind of dribbling stats, I'm expecting him to feel amazing on the ball no matter what, right? So we can put the dribbling to a side. So the main things we are upgrading is obviously the pace and the shooting. The shooting definitely does need help, especially looking at the finishing being only 83. So the Hunter Kemsa giving him 93 finishing with 96 shot power and 96 attacking positioning so should make him very clinical inside that box. Now, he also has got 86 long shots with 98 volleys and 90 penalties as well. And has he got any shooting traits? He does. The outside finisher trait is a shooting trait I really do enjoy this year. Obviously, the finisher trait, personally, I prefer. But the outside foot shot is really, really nice for a player that's got that two-star weak foot. Now, when it comes down to the pace... 99 acceleration, 99 sprint speed. You're telling me ZH is going to be one of those players that is just extremely, extremely fast. A player that's going to get in behind and a player that's not going to get caught up to. Now, if we are looking at his passing ability, like, what? His passing genuinely looks incredible. It looks like a KDB kind of passing. It looks like a team of the year card kind of passing. 95 vision with 94 crossing, 88 free accuracy, 92 short passing, 95 long passing with a 96 curve as well. The only worry I have for the passing is obviously passing on that right foot, that two star weak foot. That right there might be a slight bit of an issue, but passing onto that stronger foot should not be an issue. Now his physicals, 86 stamina is very, very, very good. Saying that he only had 79 stamina on his gold card. So yeah, the fact they upgraded his stamina a good amount is always going to be good. He's also got 65 strength and 77 aggression, which isn't really too bad. It's obviously not the greatest, but it's not too bad. Maybe he will fight in certain areas for the ball, but I definitely do feel like if he matches up against like a an Upper Meccano, a Virgil van Dijk, or any of those really strong players, he will get pushed off the ball. Now the links, the nationality... Is super nice for links. Like, you can link this guy up with Tarapt. You can link this guy up with Hakimi. So, the links with the nationality really isn't bad. And he also comes from the Premier League and he obviously plays for Chelsea. So, you can get that strong link with your boy N'Golo Kante. And that's exactly what I did. I, I got N'Golo Kante and Edouard just to get him on full chemistry. Now, the positions. He's an interesting card, isn't it? Obviously, I'm going to try him in the, the right winger position. But I definitely do want to try him in a striker position as well, just to really test out his shooting ability in that striker position and his movement as well. But I kind of want to also try him in a cam position because I'm looking at that pass and I'm saying to myself, you put this guy right in the middle, you can take a touch, you can go for a turn, you can swing all the way to the other side. It's most likely going to be a perfect pass. So I am going to try him in the cam position as well. So let's get into the games. Pass it down quickly if I can. Fake shot that. Go for that instant pace acceleration. Can I ball around the keeper as well? Just like that. We have our first goal. That touch and turn from him was really good. And did you see the acceleration to go straight through the gap? I'm just going to drill in that straight through the middle. There you go. ZH is there. Nice little touch. Great turn. You know what? Why not? It's a green time shot from very far out. I wasn't really expecting that to go like top bins, let's say. But obviously, I was expecting it to go on target. And that's exactly what it did. I'm just going to chip it down. There's not really a passing option. So let me see if I can find one. There you go. That was actually a really good run from ZH. We end up missing the opportunity. And I don't think he won that header, right? I'm pretty sure that was a defender that actually hit it towards a goalkeeper. Give that over to ZH. Oh, he's wide open. We have to give it a go. And it's not the greatest of finesse shots. Saying that his long shots are actually decent. And his shot power is good as well. I definitely was expecting a better finesse shot. We've got a free kick here from like 20 yards out. So, hey, with ZH having the 88 free kick accuracy, we need to give it a go. I'm going to do that just in case. Because I feel like he may run towards us. You see how he's like stuttering? 
Oh, wait. He hasn't actually put someone on the line. Hold up. No. Oh, it was actually an insane shot as well. We just hit crossbar down. Go for a turn here. Fake it. Go through the middle. That's beautiful. On that two-star weak foot, though, it's going to let us down. That reverse Elasco came off so nicely between the two players. It's just the two-star weak foot, man. Play that quick. Go for that one, two. ZH, just use that pace. Literally just use that pace. Keep it going. Should we go for the chip as well? I guess why not? Imagine. I didn't even get to celebrate or anything like that. It just skipped it. It didn't even hit the back of the net and the celebration was skipped. I want to see Ziyech's movement here. He realizes where the center back is coming out of position. He goes straight into it, which is perfect. That's unreal. That is genuinely unreal. I don't know how Chiellini has not came out with the ball there. I literally have no idea, but we will happily take the goal. Kind of want to try a corner tactic here. If I just like full pelt the ball here, get Ziyech to maybe run onto it, we can go for this. Oh, it was green timed as well. I was expecting some absolute banger of a shot, but it literally went straight down the middle. This guy's second man pressing me. I'm just going to pass this up to Ziyech because I knew he was going to make that little movement down. That's such a good fake shot as well. And he's never going to miss that kind of opportunity. That fake shot completely sent the defender. Like, he was completely out the game after that. I'm just going to chip that up to Mbappe. Mbappe's literally there just sitting, waiting for the ball. That's such a good skill move. We'll roll to a scoop. Hit him, with a roll, hit him with the outside foot. That is insane. Genuinely insane. The ball roll scoop round the other player as well. Beautiful. Him with a reverse. Look at the way that comes off. You see how quick that is? And he's literally... I kind of screwed this, haven't I? Oh my God. We, we saved it with the green time. We literally saved it. I completely screwed up that opportunity. I just want you guys to look how quick the reverse elastico came out of him. Like... He does the reverse Elasco, and then there's an instant acceleration straight after that. This guy's on a full out press, and I see Mbappe through one. We're going to... Oh, please. With the Scorpion? No. No. Imagine that pass to a Scorpion. Probably would have been the best goal that we scored in reviews. He's actually came short here. You know what? We're going to do this. We'll give it to him. Cool, see it short. Give it back to him. Can I take that touch? I can. You know what I want to kind of go for? I want to go for a finesse shot. And we've got the angle. Green timed as well. And Danovic ends up pulling out the save. I don't know, man. With like his 86 long shots and his 96 shot power, I feel like I'm kind of disappointed so far with his long shots. I was expecting it to be a little bit better. We'll roll that. My hit with a reverse here. <laughs> this guy has no idea where I'm going to go. We'll roll to a scoop. There you go. Should we go for it? Why not? Go for it. I always want to end on like an absolute banger. I probably should have continued there, continue doing the skill moves and see how far we could actually get. I'm telling you guys that like his skill moves, they come off so nicely. They remind me of how nice Neymar's actually come off. I'm just going to hit that over to Neymar. I literally see him making that run in behind. Maybe ZH can give me like a passing option here. You see how he's cut back there? That is literally perfect. Beautiful turns as well. We tried to hit it at like a quite hard, hard angle. It's not like an extremely hard angle, but obviously the angle wasn't in our favor, let's say. And Neuer ends up saving it. Give it through there. There you go. Go for just a simple turn. I'm going to hit that all the way to the top. Just using his long passing to give that ball all the way over to Neymar. I'm kind of seeing... If he gives me a passing option there, but he wanted to make a run. I'm not, I'm definitely noticing his movement in that striker position. It isn't anything like incredible. There's a lot of times where I want him to come short and he makes a run in behind. And then there's other times that I want him to make a run in behind and he comes short. That's a good run. Keep it going, Ziyech. Keep it going. Use that pace. Nice. Decent strength as well to hold off the player. And wow. Straight up. Wow. What is that for a finish? That's an unreal volley. Top bins and, any, and everything. Like, the keeper had no chance. One of what? Keep it going. There you go. Just give that over to ZH. Scoop turn that. That's perfect, man. Is there going to be a pass? There isn't, man. I'm trying to look for, like, a sweating option, but there literally isn't anything. And my opponent does really well to push back defenders and get everyone back into the play. But ZH has still got this ball. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Reverse it. Reverse it again. Can I go for the driven? Anyone. Give me a pass. And what? We will take it. It's so jammy. So, so jammy. But we'll take the goal. That's a good run, ZH. A really good run. All right. We got 1v1 versus Kunde. I'm going to use Edward as like a dummy. And I try to go for the finesse shot on a long shot. And it just goes straight down the middle. That is definitely something I'm disappointed about. I thought his long shots were going to be way, way better. Kind of want to see if he can go for the switch all the way to the other side with his two-star weak foot. Keep that in mind. And look at that for a pass. Can we get a goal here? Nice. 
Give that over to... Is that N'Golo Kante? Go on, N'Golo Kante. I'm going to be honest. I have no idea why he's in that position, but we'll take it. That's a good run up top. That is a really good run, and I've seen it. Edward hit it first time. Go on, man. What a volley, and what a pass as well. And this guy, he's paused it. There's only one thing that he's going to do, right? Yeah, he's going to quit the game. So it is time to review. And we ended up playing four games with Ziyech. We actually scored seven goals. And we also came out with a single assist as well. The one thing that I was really happy about with this card was definitely dribbling, dribbling ability. Like, it was incredible. The skill moves came off so nicely. The Megiri spin cancels, the reverse elasticos, the normal elasticos. They were, like, literally spot on. Because once you did this skill move, he would take, like, an instant touch straight after that, allowing you to do a another quick skill move and completely send your opponent the wrong way it was something i really really did enjoy this card definitely reminds me of that numbers up Di maria where he's just extremely fast he's got a great shooting ability on that stronger foot the passing ability is also super nice that dribbling ability is also super nice and obviously they both haven't got the greatest strength he is definitely like a Di maria kind of player especially with that two-star weak foot as well but this is the issue with the zh card right I matched up against an opponent that was allowing me to shoot on that two-star weak foot. He was not allowing Ziyech to shoot on that stronger foot. And that right there is always, always going to be an issue. And if you are obviously smart at defending, that's what you're going to do when you come up against a Di Maria. When you come up against a Ziyech, you're going to force them onto that two-star weak foot knowing that it's most likely going to be an absolute terrible shot. And that's exactly what it was. When I was shooting on that two-star weak foot, it let me down. There was no power. There was no accuracy. There was literally, literally nothing behind it we didn't i don't believe we scored a goal with it i don't think we did unless i'm completely forgetting an opportunity but yeah i don't think we scored a goal with that two star weak foot even though we had like two or three clear cut opportunities so yeah that two star weak foot is always going to be an issue with the shooting with the passing it wasn't the passing was really nice on that two star weak foot which is something i definitely definitely did not did not expect now the card is going for around 160 to 170k this ain't a cheap SPC, is it? It really isn't. This is the thing about this ZH card, right? Because he gets links to players like Kikimi. He also gets links to players like N'Golo Kante as well. With the ability he has, honestly, 160 to 170k isn't bad pricing. It honestly isn't. But what I will say is, if you have got Flashback Mares, keep Flashback Mares. Don't go ahead and get this ZH card because there's, I would say there's not really a need to spend 160, 170k on a card that's obviously untradeable when you've got the other five star skiller in the Premier League in that right wing position. Let's all be fair, it's only between ZH and Mares. So like Sancho, gold card, we can kind of push that to a side. It's literally between ZH and Mares. So if you like the skill moves, Yes, go for Ziyech, 100%, right? It's just, if you have Mares, I would say stick with Mares. Don't get this Ziyech card because of that two-star weak foot. Now, where would he go in the attacker's tier list? I love his dribbling ability. His pace is in incredible as well. He's shooting on that stronger foot. It's top, top tier. And on top of that, his passing is amazing. It's just that two-star weak foot making him insanely readable in a lot, and I mean a lot of occasions, I do not believe I can put ZH as an A+. ZH is going to go into the A tier, but I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment, but for now, peace.